video we're going to be taking a look at form validation. We're going to be adding validation to an existing Drupal form. We're going to create a simple form class. We're going to create a router with path for it. And we're going to add validation to it. So now I'm going to be quickly creating a module with a custom form and a router for it. So we just created our custom module with the custom form in it. So let's go ahead now and jump to the Drupal instance in which is called base. We created the module and let's go ahead and activate it. So if we just search for Drupal, we would Drupal up would find our custom module with the custom form that we created and under this path we should be seeing our newly created form which is actually the case our example validation form and now if we just submit something like my name or whoever's name so let's say Sam it says my name is Sam which is cool but for example if we don't have any name in our input field and if we just click say my name it will say my name is and it looks not very nice so let's go ahead and add a very simple validation first and that's just adding here required required and we may just say required and then true and if we just save it and if we clear the cache we would see that now as we submit the form we're not able to submit it without inputting anything so let's say un and now it works but the idea of this video is to show you how you may simply add validation with a callback and in any Drupal form there is a very simple way to add a validation callback and that is by declaring a function, a public function called validate form. So it would look exactly the same as the submit form 
and it would act as the submit form but we may just say here we may set in the form state if we don't like for example the input of any fields so let me show you for example let's just say this is our custom validation which is very simple and let's just go ahead and add this comment here and what we can do is we can say for example let's say we want to display just names that are longer than two characters let's say so if we say if and if we say for example we may say uh, string length so setter length and we may here check for the form state get value and name and we might say if the length of this fields input is shorter than three characters so if you say like this we may say form state and then set error by name and we could say name because that's the field that we want to flag as a field with wrong input and we say here the message for example let's say this so so to make it translatable we may say your name should be longer than three characters in order for me to say it your name that's cool so it looks like this should work and let's save it one more time and clear the cache and as we test it now let's go ahead and say first all and it says that your name should be longer than three characters in order for me to say it so well basically it would work with three characters so this is not actually quite correct but let's check it on because it's not less than three as we already see so if we say less than if it's less than four then this error message makes more sense because less than four is actually longer than three yes so if we now clear the cache one more time and if we try with un it should not let us do it and yes your name should be longer than three characters and if we say with Patrick Patrick and with Patrick it works your name is Patrick okay that's perfect so if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe the full code of this example you may find in github and thanks for watching